Here we're showing how you can use Kermit like a dual complex oscillator and an LFO.
So as you can see, that's a wicked oscillator. So when I bought Kermit, I, I bought it mainly because it could do modulation like your LFOs and things like that. But I didn't realize it also had a feature to be an oscillator. So I had it set in different modes. Um, it's very powerful, it can be a lot of things. And especially combined with the Analog 4 for sequencing and modulating, um, this, is, this works great with my small setup. So I'm glad I've had this Electron for a few years. That's how I got started away from uh, computers to make music, electronic music. And then I also bought this little device recently came for my Octatrack because I got tired of using the um, um, Dope for inbox solution. So I'm going to try to get this to work with my Octatrack this weekend because this is a nice little device I can carry with me and use with my Octatrack to do things like what my Electron does. But so far it's working great using the Electron. Um, I like having, <coughs> excuse me, um, you know, CB control. Um, as well as having four different tracks where sounds sounds cool by itself just for doing um, just for doing stuff you know by itself I can play tracks but um, yeah the one thing with it works great so I can create my setups and then um, use this as like a effects extra voice so you get the four voices plus the one or two, you can use the effects track as CV. I have to figure that out. Um, but it works great having both, you know? Um, definitely a good combo um, to use for live performances because you can just kind of patch what you have here and then just um, set it up your presets or whatever you want to use on your analog floor and then you're ready to go and you just plug it in. You basically have your whole setup ready to go for a set. So I want to do a couple techno um, patches with my small modular system and my analog 4 and see what you thought.